Homelessness 2.0 day 43. It's too many days. It is 4 p.m. I thought I had <clears throat> a scheduled appointment with my therapist, but apparently, I guess not. I don't know. Uh, it was supposed to be, or at least from what I was able to recall, um, per my actual schedule on my phone, it was supposed to be... Uh, It's supposed to be one o'clock and then I had another which I didn't even realize until today another phone call from one of the other doctors the, the actual like psychiatrist you know who prescribes medication and stuff um they were calling me at 1 30 and I was like well shit what the hell's gonna happen with that so does that mean that I was off and so I've got to like wait another hour um, so I don't know, it, at least in that regard. So it's like, okay, well, then what? <laughs> um, so I waited, been dicking around, playing request. And one of the th you know, actually, I'm glad I've decided to start talking about something. You know, something that came up within this, and it's EverQuest. I started playing about a year ago. Like I, I even si I know when I signed up because it tells you um, if you look in the right place. On November twelfth last year, and I, although I remembered quite a bit from it when I played it when I was younger in the early two thousands, you know there was still a lot of like holes in it, of course, and big holes, but a lot of it starts you know coming back to you and everything. But then, like, once you kind of find that baseline, after having played it for a while, you start having your new experiences, right? Wherein, you know, you learn about item prices, what items do, what items are, etc., etc. And so, your previous experience... And your previous, your previous experience and your previous ignorance now become, you know, new, useful information. And one of the things that I tend to do when I'm playing this game is that I will often just randomly offer assistance for certain things. Because I can do them. I can do the things... Because I know well enough. I'm not... I've always been a know-it-all. Um, and, you know, kind of going back... And I don't know if this was... This might have been part of one of the older videos that... For whatever reason, when the phone got hot, decided to shut down. And I was talking to myself for an hour or something. But whatever. <clears throat> so, I think it was around the time when I was like... I'm all, I've always been homeless. One of the things is that... There was a conversation I had with an older friend of mine back in the day, and I always thought I was a slow learner. And he claimed that I was more of a complete learner. That it simply just took longer for me to learn because I was learning everything about it. And in so doing, the information... Now, I mean, this isn't his assertion. This is sort of my assertion after the fact. But it seems as though in so doing... There is longevity in that information, too. Um, obviously, while it is still ha happening, you know, if just like anything else, you use it or lose it. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to detract a little bit because of something more realistic. While I am nervous to be driving at night in Los Angeles for literally the first time on Thursday... It is not the first time I have been traveling and effectively driving at night in Los Angeles. And it's going to be at prime time. It's going to be between 6 p.m. and 8 p.m. 
Now, it's going to be different because I won't be riding a bike. And it'll be in an area that I'm not familiar with. So those things are going to be the things that I'm going to be a little bit you know, nervous about, of course. But kind of like the analogy, if you will, with EverQuest and, you know, going back. And by the way, none of this was prescript. I prescript nothing when I'm doing these videos. I mean, even when I did stuff with scripts, I rarely fully scripted everything. Uh, I didn't even bullet point this. None of the, this is all just kind of happening on its own. And it just happens to be, you know, working out nicely. But like with the EverQuest thing... I feel as though that I have enough information. Now, one might say, maybe you're going to need more lessons. And I'm hoping I won't. I'm hoping that not only from when I learned to drive back when I was 15, because I spent, God, I want to say three months doing it. Now, one might say, well, you were 15. You can't necessarily remember everything. True, but then there was a lot of practical experience because then I drove until I was 30. <laughs> you know, I had very little non-schooled driving. Like, my parents let me drive, I think, twice. Um, <clears throat> and because my parents were the people that they are, or the people who were, or whatever... One, they were extremely impatient. Um, two, you know, just they didn't like me, so it didn't matter. Um, anything that I did was wrong, and so they didn't want me to do it anymore. Which is probably one of the reasons why it took them so long to even let me buy a car from them, because that was the only source that I was apparently able to buy a car from. But whatever, it doesn't matter. I drove for 15 years. I'm a defensive driver. Now, I know that there's a lot of people out there who say that they're a good driver. I know that I'm good, but I also know that I need improvement because that is how everybody should look at their own skills, especially when it comes to driving a damn kill machine. I mean, cars aren't designed to kill, of course. They're not like guns. But that said... Humans are not appropriately evolved to drive cars. Um, LA has a lot more traffic. Not only that, it also has a lot more parked cars. And so, and, and a lot of people parking their cars and so on. And so, like, one of the things that I will do, at least I will attempt to do when doing so, and I've been thinking about it, and, like, I, I think I thought about this earlier, and I'm going to go ahead and just send the, the, the school an email. And I'll be like, what kind of car were you driving? Because I want to know. I want to know what kind of car we're driving. I want to know, you know, how the interior looks, how the... I want to know what I'm getting myself into. Literally and figuratively. <laughs> as I'm getting into a car. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to do laundry here in a minute. But the thing is, is that... I, I feel that I'm a good driver, and I always know that I can be better. And, you know, okay, how am I a good driver? When I say I drive defensively, I almost don't ever use my brakes whenever possible. Whenever pragmatic. That's one thing that I learned on my own. Like, that wasn't something that I learned in, in driving school. That was something I learned on my own. I realized that while driving, it is most of the time better just simply just take your foot off the gas. In most cases. Because while it may be necessary to signal to people that you are slowing down or you're stopping, we don't have... Again, humans are not evolved to drive. We, we were taught one thing, and then we just kind of have to go out and do it. And But our physiology doesn't understand the speeds at which, at which we're working with. Like, 
our nominal our nominal max speed that our brain is typically able to understand and perceive appropriately 